What's up YouTube? This is Shuttleboy, the best golfing YouTuber ever. Today's video we're gonna get into the fact that there's 11 Converse shoes that came out with golf and there was 11 total shoes that came out with Van. So we're gonna decide together what was better, the Vans or the Converse? So let's get right into it. Now, like I said, there's 11 Converse, 11 Vans at this point. There's going to be more Converse, obviously. We've already seen pictures of quite a few pairs. And technically, there's been more than 11 pairs of Vans. If you count the Camp Flogna, and if you count the Odd Future ones, then it would be more than that. I'm just focusing on more like just those golf wing ones that are specifically like his shoe. All in all, I think we can all agree that um, both Converse and the Vans have been really good. I think the biggest complaint we'll have to say with the Converse is that it's not the exact design that he wanted when he showed us at the fashion show being an independent shoe. The majority of us would have liked that. I think it turned out pretty well considering he needed a company. As for the Vans, I think those turned out as good as they could with Vans. Being he can't really change the silhouette design and he was probably told he can pick like an old school and authentic or a skate high and just do what you want with it. Which is pretty cool because he can do anything with colors and materials but he couldn't really change what the shoe looked like you're pretty much done for if you don't like the old school the converse he had a little bit more of design leeway if i was to pick a pro or a con for both of them i'd say with the golf of fleur the pro is that he does have like his own design he completely thought of but on the con side it feels like he's not trying as much with colorways to do like really special specific things to his shoes he's trying to make it more like industry mainstream like making his own shoe company very professional dial so he doesn't do as crazy a things as he did with the golf vans but the pro to it is that we are getting a lot more shoes and most importantly is not getting limited at all to the point that we're gonna keep getting shoes basically until he wants to stop making shoes the vans some of the cons are that he couldn't make as many as he wanted to necessarily kind of had to follow that pattern of when the albums came out he wasn't able to change the design he couldn't really change it to like throw a totally different silhouette and also the shoes weren't as available they were a lot harder to get a lot less places got it while Converse had a lot more availability for everyone pretty much at any shop um, on their Nike website while the vans really weren't even sold anywhere other than golf's website and then very few boutiques got it. The pros though is that I feel like because he was given uh, the old school or picked the old school and he couldn't change what the silhouette looks like. He really made all the details really matter. Pairs like above the cherry bomb pair, he did the checkerboard, he did the suede on the toe, but the checkerboard wasn't suede at all. He had the golf logo on the tongue, he had the stitching on the back, the insole had something special on it, the material on the lining special, the boxes were special, like for the pink pair. He really made sure every single little thing was paid attention to because he wasn't able to do something like the Golf of Fleur where he could actually change like a logo to it or change the silhouette like drastically. Put a lot of effort into making a colorway where I think it is kind of an issue with the Golf of Fleurs. I'm not saying the colorways are bad. They're fine. They're totally fine. But I think we can all agree that the colorways for the Vans are just so much more creative. It has a lot more attention to detail while the the Golf of Fleurs, the box is the same for every single pair. They do give us extra laces, which I think is nice. Doesn't have as many like cool details to it as far as like the tongue tag is always the same. It just has the normal Golf of Fleur logo. The insole has the same logo as the tongue. Nothing stitched on the back of the shoe. It's a lot of overuse of the same Golf of Fleur logo and there's no like individuality to each pair. Each pair for the Vans I felt were really special. Each pair was a little different, you know? Um, they always had that golf wang on the back but like there's always one thing that if you had the pink sole ones or if you had the cherry bomb ones there's something different to them that made that pair a little bit more unique and like make you feel cool that you had the cherry bomb pair versus the wolf pair quality wise i'd have to say that they're both pretty comparable i do think that this has nicer suede though i do like this suede more because i don't like the shaggy suede i feel like the shaggy suede shows that they're trying too hard like they're really trying to prove to you that this is good quality and this it's like you know this is good quality, you don't need to prove it to me. Like I said with the back, there's no logo on the other one, which kind of bums me. Another thing, like I said, this is a preset design, so he couldn't change logos, like put the golf flower on there, or he wouldn't have did that back then, but he couldn't do a cool logo on it. Well, with this he could. Don't misunderstand me though, this is still a one star when you really get down to it, but it is 
a lot more like aspects or change to this than this pair by far. The other thing for these is that Vans are already established as classic shoes. I think everyone loves, if you love Tyler, you love the old school in general. And I, I love, personally, I love the old school as well. It's probably my favorite um, shoe silhouette ever. I think it's something that even if it wasn't golf and this was just a regular colorway, as we've seen them do with the gum sole pairs and stuff, you could just release this and have no Tyler affiliation and still standalone amazing. I think it wouldn't be as quickly accepted by everyone and as widely accepted by everyone compared to this pair. Tyler really is the reason why the One Star and the Golf Fleur is so popular. If he didn't really design this and if he didn't wear the One Star, the One Star wouldn't even be on the map right now. He was pretty much the whole point of this whole marketing scheme. I mean, think about two, three years ago. One Stars existed. Nobody bought them. Though. Then when Tyler jumps onto it, huge success with the One Stars. One Stars are getting so much exposure from all these different hip hop artists. Well, this, it did get a lot of fans from Tyler. But before that, everyone liked it anyways without the Tyler affiliation. It's just the people that were Tyler fans jumped onto the shoe as well. So they got another audience. The One Star had no audience before this showed up. Now after I said all this information, I'd like to know what your opinions are. If you could tell me in the comments below, what pair do you like more? Do you like the Converse pairs more? Or do you like the Vans ones more? There's going to be more shoes of this, so you're going to have down the road, it's going to be easier to judge whether or not it, either thing was better. My personal take, I think the Vans are better. I do love that he has his own shoe. I love that idea, but I really wish it was with Vans instead because I think he paid a lot more attention to detail with Vans, and I don't see that happening as much with this, although it could. There's potential he could do that stuff. It's just I feel like he's not doing it as much as he used to. Let me know what your opinions are on this, guys. Please tell me below. Vans or Converse. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video, guys. Please subscribe if you haven't already for more golf wing. And this is Shuttleboy, the best golf wing YouTuber ever. And I'm out, guys. Peace.